With a lot of road projects going on, I get this question a lot in regards to um, how do I bring in my PDFs and align them quickly to my center line um, instead of having to, you know, click on a station and then click over here and go back and forth and try to make sure I have things lined up. So hopefully this is going to going to help you. And then I'm going to show you a quick way to also uh, bring in some some cross sectional data. So the first thing that I want to do is click on my center line alignment that I'm going to be aligning to. And then I'm going to use a tool here that's going to say station offset view. And I'm going to click that and then I'm just going to slide this down here. Um, I just need to have this open for what I'm going to do and then I'm just going to close it. I don't need to do anything else with it. And now from here I'm going to import in a page. So I'll come in, click my import icon and then type in my page number that I that I want to bring in and hit import. OK, and now that this page is in. What I'm going to want to do here is a geo reference the image. OK, so I'll come over to my file explorer over here and go geo reference the the image. Once that's set, you'll see um, this file is not vectored. So this will work for a vectored as well as a non vectored file. So what I want to do is I want to align this page now to my stationing. So instead of coming over here and clicking here and then trying to find my stationing, all I have to do is click add and add. OK, so I'm going to click two ads. Now, if this was vectored, I wouldn't have to do that. I would just come over, click the vector location and do the same procedure. But here what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and click on this pixel and I'm going to zoom in because this is not vectored and kind of line myself up the best that I can along that line for that um, station. Now where the location comes in, what I'm going to do is type in that actual station 735 plus zero zero comma zero. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting in the station and then I'm telling it at a zero offset. And now I'll zoom out and I'll come over to this break, uh, this match line area here and do the same thing. Come in, align up to that match line right there and then type in 745 plus 00, 0, Once I have that, I will hit tab. And now you will see these lines showing where this is going to go onto the alignment. So you can see that this point A is going to go to that station there. This point B is going to go to that station. Once I have it, I hit compute. And you'll see here that I'm now lined up to my project and you can see here that this station here um, alignment I have it in white is 745 plus 00, 0 and you can see that 745 plus 00, 0 lines up to to that so all I will do from here is I will really import all the images at one time so if I have 50 pages here I will go from 2069 and then up to um, 2100 say and just bring in all those all those photos or all those images you know, from the PDF. Then I'll come over to my project explorer click on the first one and do that import and then all I have to do from here is just pull this down and pick my next plan sheet okay and then go reference right here and now I can just keep going as I as I go along and just start aligning all the PDFs to this so I'll close that out and what you'll see here is when when you get this all done okay I'll come back over to my view filter here and if I turn all of these off and I say click on this one and this and turn these on and then I'll just click on this one here because I renamed it for this video. What you'll see here is I now have all the PDFs in. And what I was able to do is use this remove image boundary. And I was able to come in and trace a boundary around 
and I was able to trim them as I was putting them in at the exact same time. So that that sped that up quite a bit. So you can see here now everything is, is lined up and I can start doing my, my, my tracing out my demos and whatever else I, I want to do. Once I have these in, I can close this out. Now the other cool thing <clears throat> about what's going on here in Business Center is the PDFs of the cross sections happen to be vectored, which made this very, very easy to, to start doing. So what I was able to do here is the same thing, click on the import and then click on the cross sectional sheet and then pick from sheet one to 118. And then what I was able to do is say import sheet as yes. And I gave it a plan sheet name. So if I come over to my project explorer, you'll see here that I have a plan sheet that was created and inside there are all my cross-sectional sheets, okay? What that allowed me to be able to do is take these cross-sections and actually <clears throat> make them what they need to be. So you can see here, if I look at the cross-sections here, and just let me take this, you'll see here that I have my cross-sections broke out now from the vector PDFs as existing, grid lines, grid text, proposed, labels. And if I had, was going to do the subgrades, but what we want to do is we're manually going to enter in the subgrades just in case they change. We can have floating subgrades and not be attached just to what was on the cross sections. And then from here, the secret is to get this into Business Center because you'll notice right now there, there is no cross sectional data in here. All I have to do <clears throat> is come in and now I can say create from cross sections. And I can pick the center line that I want to go to. And we're going to go US 75. I'm going to bring them in as 3D lines. I'm going to do mix. So I'm just going to select all of these. <clears throat> and it selected every single cross section I have from all 118 sheets. I give it what, what layer the station labels are on, the grid lines, the grid text. Once I have that, all I do is hit apply. And what this is going to do now, this is going to take this information that's in cross section and it's going to bring them into business center for me. So it's going to create my, my line work and everything that I need um, for, for all of this. So then if I come over to my business center here and I say, let's turn on the cross sections in this view here, what you'll see here is there's my cross sections at the stationing. So if I were to look at this in 3D and we'll turn on the cross sections for this here, you'll see here that I now have my cross sections already inside Business Center. All I need to do for the existing ground now is make a surface and then from here, box out what my um, demo is and add that to a corridor. And now I can start calculating per station what I actually have for, for demo along you know, this um, US 75. So hopefully you found some of these tips and tricks um, helpful. I do have a class that I do teach on how to do everything that I'm showing you. If you uh, would like to uh, take the class and have some training on this and learn more, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks.